Hello everyone. Now we will start with the new topic as a part of a back programming. Our new topic is loop. Now what is loop? Loop allows us to execute a set of statements multiple times. Suppose we have a set of statements and we want to execute those statements multiple times at that time loop will come into picture how you will execute those statements multiple time with the help of loop now we will discuss three types of loop but at this point of time we will cover do loop and while loop in the few upcoming videos when we cover the topic internal table at that time, we will come on to loop at internal table also. But at this point of time, we will cover do loop and then we will cover while loop. So firstly, we will start with our do loop and then we will do the practical of do loop. Now, what is do loop? Do loop is also called as unconditional loop word itself is saying we will not provide any condition so do loop is a unconditional loop every do loop ends with end do suppose just remember every if statement ends with end if every case statements ends with end case similarly every do loop ends with which particular keyword and do. Now, if I will go for the syntax, what is the syntax of the do loop? Do is the keyword. Here, we will specify how many times we want to execute the do loop and whatever the logic we will write there, that many times this logic will execute, this block of statements will execute. Now, every do is end with what? End do. So, what is do? Do is a unconditional loop, means we will not provide any condition. Now, every do loop ends with end do. And what is the syntax? Do how many times you want to execute? Whatever the logic or whatever the statements of code will be there, it will execute and every do ends with a and do. Now, we will see the practical part, how, how we can write the logic for the do loop. So, I will go to SC38 transaction code. Now, I will give some name to the program. ZPRG. Suppose do loop, we will understand do loop. We'll click on to create button. I will give some short, I'll give some title to the program to understand the do loop. I will take the type as executable because we will execute the program. I will save it as a local object. Report is the first keyword. It means it's an executable program and I will activate the program. We will declare one variable. Data is the keyword tab. LV underscore input. Suppose input is length is 2. The length of the data object is 2. Type is the keyword. Suppose we are going for numeric type. Suppose I am assigning the value 10. So this is the keyword. This is the data object. And this is a variable. Named data object variable. This is the data type. This is the default, the, how we can assign the default value through value keyword. And this is the default value, which is called as numeric literal. It is a sequence of numbers. 
Now we will write the logic for the do loop. I will write do. You can see it is a keyword. If I will put tab, you can see and do automatically came and times also came automatically. Suppose we are executing the loop, suppose 10 times. So whatever the statements, whatever the statements you will write here, those statements will execute 10 times, 10 times, because this is the definition of the loop itself. It allows us to execute a group of statements multiple times. Now I will simply, simply write the right statement, right? Suppose I will write the output is I will put comma LV underscore input and after every write statement we will increase the value by one We will increase the value by one. So we are, we are adding one. Suppose firstly, it will print 10, 10, 10 plus one will one will become 11. Again, loop will come, then it will print 11, then 12, 13, 14. This is the way how output will print. I will save. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now, for the best understanding, I will show you in the debugging mode. So if you know debugging, it's very good. If you do not know that debugging, you can refer the playlist of debugging, but I will use only those features that without knowing the debugging also, at least you can know the flow. So you, what you can do, you can put the cursor, you can put a breakpoint. So for the best understanding, I will show you in the debugging. I'm running the program. Now, desktop three, you can go to desktop three. Now, those who don't know debugging, just remember, just think, this is one line. This is one line because we all know every line ends with a dot. Those who know debugging, it's very good because they can execute very easily. Those who don't know debugging, Every statement, every lines ends with a dot. If I want to go for line by line execution, I can do F6. So now just see, I'm on 10 number line. I'm doing F6. So now I'm, I'm, I'm on 11 number line. So firstly, it will print what? It will print 10. Now this statement will execute and 10 plus one will become 11. So first iteration of the loop is done. Now loop will come for second iteration. Now this is, I'm again on the do statement. I'm doing F6. Now again, I went inside the loop 11th number line. Now it will print 11. Now 11 plus one will become 12. Now it will go to third iteration of the loop. So now it will print 12. Now 12 plus one will become 30. Now it will go to fourth iteration of the loop. It will print 13. Now it will become 40. Now it will go for fifth iteration of the loop. It will print. Now it will become 50. Sixth iteration of the loop. Now it will print 15. It became 60. Now it will go to seventh iteration of the loop. Now the value became 70. Eighth iteration. Then we have ninth iteration. And now we have 10th iteration. So our loop execute 10 times. Now it will not go further. Now you can see we have the result. The output is 10, output is 11, output is 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19. Now everyone will think how customer will understand this output. And if you remember in the previous video, when we cover write statement, I told you, if you want the output in new line, you have to use slash. So I'll just check the syntax and I will activate. So every output will go for a new line. We will get the output in the new line. If I will run without debugging, you can see we have the output in the new line. So I'll just put a comment also so that you can make it more understandable. Do loop. We all know if we want to put a comment at the start of the line, we have, we can give through star. So what is the summary of this particular video? But is loop, loop allows us to execute a state block of statements or group of statements multiple times. We have three loops we will discuss. Do loop, while loop, loop at internal table. Loop at internal table will be in the future videos when we cover the topic internal table. As of now, we started with do loop. Do is a unconditional loop. See, we have not given any condition. Are you able to see any condition? No, we have not given any true or false conditions. We just allow, we just saying that this loop should execute these many times. And every do statement ends with which particular keyword and do. Now, in the next video, we will go for one more syntax of do loop. So that's it in this video. Thank you.